Welcome, family, to another edition of Stranger Thinking Media. Today we have some breaking news. Uh, there apparently has been an attempt uh, on the life of uh, former President uh, Donald Trump, and uh, we're going to take a look at the details. So stay with me. Um, these things should not happen, and it's sad times that we have to even, you know, go through this again. But um, I have some footage. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this. The crowd is going absolutely bonkers. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Yes. So we have some more for you, um, just to give you a heads up. Um, we're going to dig into this a little bit more. And um, again, there's been an attempt on Donald Trump's life. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, they got the shooter. Oh my gosh, they got the military in there. Let me get my shoes. Let me get my shoes. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head. Oh, he's disoriented. Watch out. There he is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He's an absolute fearless savage beast. USA, USA, USA. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, let's just keep watching this. They're covering him. Oh, my gosh. You know, everyone I talk to that remembers JFK being assassinated, everybody remembers where they were when the president was, was taken out. Well, there you have it uh, in a nutshell. Um, an attempt has been made on, apparent attempt has been made on Donald Trump and uh, uh, on his life. And uh, by... Uh, all uh, observation, it looks like he's okay. Uh, we'll get further details on it. But uh, again, um, an attempt uh, uh, has apparently been uh, made on Donald Trump as he spoke at a, a, a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. And, uh, you know, you, you would think in this day and age uh, that uh, we're more civilized than this. Um, you would think that we've come further than this uh, since the days of even John F. Kennedy. But apparently, you know, there's a lot of people out there with a lot of hate in their hearts, and these are the uh, extremes that they'll go to. Um, I'm just afraid that they're, they're <laughs> creating a monster. I mean, you're going after this man relentlessly. You know, I mean, go, you can go back to that, uh, previous election, you know, he claims that it was stolen from him. So he he's feels slighted by that. Um, you, you got them invading his home and, and ransacking it, uh, looking for documents. And um, then you have him in court battle after court battle after court battle. Um, and yet, you know, and, and, and then he gets indicted and, and, um, he's now a felon and they're just going after this man relentlessly and what's going through his mind 
I mean, it's, it's there's nothing they can do at this point. It looks like he's going to be president. And it sounds it sounds like, you know, normal the normal business is if someone looks like they're going to be president, you know, you kind of you, you, you kind of suck up to them a little bit, you know, you're kind of nice to them, you you try to make friends with them to see if, you know, maybe, you know, I'll, I'll scratch your back, you scratch my back kind of thing, quid pro quo. But uh, what's happening to Trump is like, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, usually after these things, it's, you know, let's all uh, kiss and make up is, you know, it's, it is what it is. We, you fought the good fight. You lost. I won, blah, blah, blah. But uh, the level of vitriol is just extreme. And so this man is going to become president. After all these people have done all these things to him, I don't know what state of mind he'll be in. And I don't mean the state of mind that, like, you know, Biden is in, not this that physical state of mind, but just the anger that must be, he must be seething inside. He must be very angry. And then they uh, make an attempt on his life. Um, so there are people out there playing hardball. It's not just rhetoric anymore. They're coming after him. And uh, time will only tell if he's uh, harboring any ill will or hard feelings. I can't imagine that he isn't, you know. Um, it's one thing to be taking, dragging a man through court, but if you, if there's been an attempt on his life, and they say it's a Biden, a Biden supporter that did it, and it sounds like he was taken out himself, so he did not survive. It, it sounds like. I mean, I don't know everything, but it sounds like he did not survive. And so, uh, yeah, there you have it. So we'll we'll learn more about uh, his condition um, if if he's truly okay. Um, but he looked very defiant there, didn't he? I mean, like you, you don't want to be on his bad side at this point. You know, this man is going to be the leader of the free world, and uh, there, there comes a point where people need to just recognize that, whether you agree with him or you disagree with him. This is the man that's going to be leading your country. And these people, whoever they are, decided they can't live with that, and they try to take him out. Well, those, that person is no longer with us. Um, his attempt failed, so it was all in vain what he was doing. And we'll just see how this all plays out. But uh, needless to say, um, I'm, I think I'll end it on that note uh, but just know family I love you all so much and thank you for continually supporting my content if you did enjoy this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe and turn on the notification bell and we'll uh, try to bring you more updates and uh, you know God bless mm -hmm.